Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cancerian. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Cancer. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Today's reading here is going to focus on love. We're going to first start with some messages from the divine, with some oracle messages here. Then we're going to bring it down to the three with some tarot to see who is in your energy and why. And then we're going to see what's going on in your love life. And who is in your energy and how they feel towards you. So come on in. Smash that like button, Counselor. If this is your first time, subscribe. We would love to have you, Counselor, and part of our soul family as well. All right? So no further ado, let's dive in, Counselor. Wow, we got joy and stability. Yes, I love it, Count Sirian. So you all are right now going to be experiencing ways that you're going to find yourself with a smile on your face or finding things balancing themselves out for you, things coming into a grounded energy or mode where you're going to find even in financial opportunities are going to be more stable for you within your family, your household, things that you're just manifesting for yourself. And this is going to make you really happy. This is your energy. This is the fourth house energy here with the number four. All right. So things are going to start balancing themselves out within your family, within your household here. It's going to allow you to be happy at this time here. Okay. Wow. I love this, Count Syrian. So let's dive into your love life. All right. Let's see who or what is coming towards you for love and romance. What do we have for Count Syrian so far is looking good to you. Definitely smash that like button, Count Syrian, if it's resonating for you so far already. I'm loving the energy that's coming through here, Count Syrian. What's coming towards Count Syrian for love and romance? Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance, Count Syrian. Wow, we have release your ex, Count Syrian, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. So in order to receive this happiness, this stability here, I feel like your guardian angels is wanting you to have heads up here. They may even be frustrated about this with this person here that some of y'all may be having a difficult time letting go of, or they could have a difficult time letting go of you, or maybe they have a difficult time letting go of someone else, and it could be delaying the process, delaying our opportunity or delaying the connection with you because they could still be holding on to someone of an ex of theirs or you counselor could be holding on to an ex here that in order to receive this joy and stability and not allow this person to block this opportunity someone is needed to let go of an ex here okay uh yeah let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here we have heart to heart conversations yeah it's time for that heart to heart conversation here counselor and it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other other so this is someone that's going to take you some time to have to really break this energy down and tell this person how you feel don't be afraid to um speak up here count Siren, and let this person know how you feel all right wow so let's pull some tarot out here count Siren. all right let's get some clarity here for the cards here let's clarify joy and stability here count Siren. all right wow Again, definitely smash that like button if their message is resonating with you here, Count Siren. Let's see. Why do we have here joy and stability here? Why do we have joy and stability here? Wow. We have here the Page of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, the Page of Swords. The Page of Cups. This person could be a water sign like yourself. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Others of you all here, this could be a Air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Someone here was watching you and observing you, but it's like the Page of Swords here. They're refusing to accept whatever it is that they observed about you or whatever that they observed about the relationship here. Like I said, with this Page of Cups being reverse uh this opportunity i feel like is again being blocked and not able to come in as it should here <coughs> excuse me yep someone doesn't want me to get the word out count Syrian. Someone doesn't want you to move on. This ex here, again, is having a difficult time with letting you go. They're not even trying to hear your conversation. You see how he's looking straight directly forward and he's not listening to what this woman here is trying to tell him. So someone here is definitely doing some things here that you're not happy about here. And they, you know, you've 
I feel like because you, for some of y'all, you cut this person off. The Page of Cups or messages, communication. And some of y'all, you blocked this person or you already done this. And this is why the distractions may have been around you. The frustration feeling may be around you. <clears throat> Yeah, because my throat shock was perfectly fine before I started the reading, right? Give me one second. I'm going to drink on my tea here, okay? That was very awkward. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see why we have the page of swords here coming out in reverse. Again, some of y'all expressing could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Why do we have the page of swords here in reverse? Thank you. The high priest is here. Wow. So this tells me that you already know here what's going on, Count Siren. You both actually are aware. This person is aware that they're doing the things that they're doing here and causing distractions and frustration. They know why. Because instead of this person just saying, hey, Count Siren, yes, I fucked up. I was wrong. I did this and I'm sorry. They're refusing to do all of that and just wanting you to, you know, do what they want you to do, which is the same thing that I'm sure they've been doing in the relationship here. But because someone is not, you know, it's not going their way, it's not working out for them. So they want to try to block your joy and your safe ability here that you're trying to have and establish for yourself here. Wow, that's crazy. Let's clarify the release of X energy here for Count Syrian. Why do we have release your ex here for Count Syrian and this person here? Clarify, release your ex. <clears throat> that is crazy. We have here, wow, look at that. I told you the two of cups. Someone doesn't want this opportunity or this connection that you're having or establishing for yourself. Someone doesn't want this connection to happen or go down here. And it's nothing that you can do about it. This is someone that you love. Like you can't control who you love or who you have feelings for here. And this is someone that, again, is having a difficult time with accepting that. Okay. Uh, this, again, could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Wow. So let's see how do you feel, Cancer? And how does Cancer feel about this person here? Let's see how do they feel about you i'm sorry how do you feel about this person here the two of swords i kind of see you being indecisive trying to make a decision here the two of swords talks about trying to you know decide uh and reflect on what's going to be the best opportunity for you when it comes to this person here again they could be an air sign a water sign here okay wow so let's see um I want to know how do they feel about you? Like, what do they want to say despite all of this that has happened and transpired to with you two? Let's see what do they want to say. <clears throat> wow, fuck that. I'm fighting for you. So someone is not going to give up too easy here, Count Siren. Okay, someone here definitely wants to... Um, Figure this out. We got the nine of pentacles wanting to jump out here. That's a Virgo energy there as well. Some of y'all, this person here could be a Virgo. But that card talks about stepping back into your independence and owning your responsibilities, holding yourself accountable and manifesting for yourselves. And this is where I feel like where you're at. You're in your single livelihood, okay? And you're looking like eye candy right now. So a lot of people here, Cam Syrian, okay? Yeah, someone wants to come in and take their time here with you, okay? This again could be an earth sign, a water sign or an air sign here what else this person wants to say here to count syrian what else this person here wants to say to count syrian here okay wow we have i wish things were different here so whatever the circumstance that maybe if this person is involved with someone else or they was involved with someone else they regret that they wish that things to this day could be different where it wouldn't be maybe the foot on the other shoe or the reverse of things here okay wow count Syrian. so i'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here okay wow this card wanted to jump out yeah this is really making a statement here in your reading today you are the only one this person wants to be with or they at least are definitely trying to make this statement here that you only matter because some of y'all you may feel like because this person was going back and forth with the person that they may be um you know, you caught messing around with you or cheated on you or done some things to hurt you here, tried to compare you to this energy here. Something that they did here that you didn't sit quite pretty with here. And I feel like the situation has been rectified and 
this is this person trying to reinstate, rekindle, re-reconcile with you on what it is that they want to do moving forward in the future with you, all right? Because they definitely wish that things could be different here, okay? Wow, Counselor. And I'm going to leave this portion again of the reading here. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading so we could kind of see what could possibly be the potential outcome? Is there a potential outcome here for you and this person? Or just what's next in love for you, Counselor? All right, my email details are down below. Thank you so much if you're new here for tuning in. And thank you for my returning beautiful family. I appreciate you. And I definitely look forward to seeing where this energy goes, Counselor, in the near future. I love you. Bye-bye.